Let's do a quick Weinstein update. Jury selection began this week in Harvey Weinstein's Los Angeles trial. Uh, The disgraced producer, who's already serving 23 years in prison in New York, faces 11 more charges of sexual assault. Jury selection is expected to take about two weeks, and five alleged victims are expected to take the stand during the trial. One of them... Jennifer Siebel Newsom, the wife of California Governor oh, yeah. Gavin Newsom. Oh, not yeah. wife. She's like a partner. First partner. Oh, I'm going to tell. Hold fucking on. Nonsense. It's it's a title that I can't wait to oh. share. So she says Weinstein sexually assaulted her at a business meeting that turned out to be a trap more than 17 years ago. If convicted, Weinstein could face 140 more years behind bars. I did go to her IMDb. Um, Siebel Newsom describes herself as a filmmaker, advocate, thought leader and first partner of California. Right. Yeah, I, it's so sad that if I hear you're an advocate now, I immediately know you're a wild douchebag who I would never want to hang out with. Advocate used to be something. Yeah. Now you're a homeless advocate. Oh, blah. Okay, first off, mm-hmm. assaulted her. We got to get these terms figured out. A business meeting, he assaulted her. What is that? Uh, we'll find out. What does that mean? Well, he has a pattern, I imagine, probably fit with the like come Powder. up to the room, answer the door in Jerked the bathroom. Off into a ficus. Uh, wow. Well, I guess yeah. is um. So did he have sex with her? It, I, like, I imagine that'll come out um, if she's giving a witness statement. The uh, I you see footage of him with his walker. Oh boy, and that being fecocta l- collar led in and out of the courtroom. Wilkes. Well, they also his lawyer said you know these are medieval conditions. And he doesn't have a toilet, and the toilet became the focus. The judge is like, he has a toilet. Well, it's not a good toilet. Well, don't say he doesn't have a toilet. Yeah, he's in prison. Yeah. Or jail or whatever. It's not, yeah. The, I'm, I'm not sure. going to defend Weinstein at all, but what? I, I do know of someone that had a, an encounter with him. And um, they told me about it months and months and months prior to the first Me Too thing coming out with him. And the encounter was an innocuous kind of encounter. And she told me she left it off and said, Harvey, put your clothes back on. She went in to, <laughs> to change her clothes to go to an event. And he, while she was in the room, she, he disrobed and she came out of the thing and he laughed and says, Harvey, put your clothes back on. So tell me that story. She said, we were good friends and people thought we were a thing. And I'd go to events with him and he'd got me in, in Cannes. Anyway, great person that person was. So. Now the thing happens. The first thing happens where the attacks are strong. And she said, "Um, what do I do? I go, what do you mean? You you told me that it was like a nothing kind of a thing, that it was, oh, you know, he did, and he put his, and you were friends with him. Yeah. I says, or if you want to do anything, say that maybe you didn't get offended by that behavior because as a child, you had relatives that did something inappropriate to you and you didn't respond in a certain, I says, that's a better way than to just to go into that. Anyway, to cut to the story short, full on into the Me Too thing, full on into the Me Too thing, because it became a, and I'm not, I've got six daughters. Really? Okay, six daughters. Yeah, my youngest being three years old. And, um, and I have two sons. And I go, how do you figure this? How do, how do we... How do we get through this uh, whole thing? The same thing happened with Bill Cosby. I was on a tour with another big musician who was friends with Bill Cosby. And he said to me, those girls, a lot of the women that accused Bill Cosby, he knew them. And he knew that Bill had them at different homes and houses, letting them stay six, five months at a time rent free. They were there at the, the thing. And it's it's such a... And being in Hollywood 45 years since 1977 and seeing all the permeations of what it's gone through. I remember the Roxbury on Sunset Boulevard. And if you were went with a girl and the girl was, uh, you know, beautiful girl and you weren't into any drug use, but another girlfriend would be there and she'd whisper in the girl's ear. And the next thing you know, that other girl would go off into the bathroom with them and they'd be in the bathroom with another guy who was supplying the quaaludes and everything else. It was a crazy cultural, or, or, or whatever it is. So, so this, this, the the hypocrisy, and the danger of all that hypocrisy is, and that's no excuse for any of it. But it's just there's something that is. Um, 
because friends of mine went to that trial, the Weinstein trial, and they felt that a lot of the, uh, there, there was a lot of questioning that could have been gone on with, with some of the. Yeah, Mark Garagos told me that what was going on inside the courtroom was different than what was being reported, reported. outside the courtroom. And the question is, with this, with all, you know, Me Too or Black Lives Matter, whatever it is, separating the real stuff from the people that get swept up in it. That's going to be our next challenge because, uh, you know, 10 minutes ago they do believe all women. It's like, uh, if, if we did that, then half the Duke lacrosse team would still be in prison. Like we can't, that's not an answer. The answer is vet everything thoroughly, but he looks like a guy who was, if there was some sort of mojo vacuum that we could hook it up to your ass, because he was always a big eyesore, but he walked into the room oh. and he was floating on his own mojo, yeah. you know, like this guy was like, look at me, the planets and the solar system revolve around me. And when you see him now, oh boy, he physically doesn't look that much different because he never was a, he was a big, un, fat, ugly guy. Now he's just slightly Fat, less fat. But with, the light has guy, gone out. But completely out. Like like when they when they talk about that, I was with my grandmother on her deathbed, and I just mm-hmm. felt her soul yeah. leave. It just felt like his yeah. soul just left. And if I'm not mistaken, he's seventy. So you know, the older we get, we think, oh, 70, That's not very old. But he looks. I mean, for seventy, you think, oi, are you sure he's not pushing eighty? You know, 70s, yeah, yeah. you know, a vibrant age, we like to think of it as. He should have fled the country, like well, I said. That's what you told him to do. Yeah. Um, it let's, was a, yeah. No, no, it just is, it's a, it's a, it's just, uh, you know, and, and again, all the fawning that he would have at Cannes. I was around sure. those parties, you know, the at, at the Beverly Hills Hotel and the, everyone wanting to go to the, you know, wherever the Miramax uh, film was going to be or whatever the Academy Award, it was just, uh, you know, and the absolute, f- and, and you know, it'd be difficult for a guy, I think, like him, not to think that he's got, like you said, the mojo. You know, he's not looking at himself like Harvey Weinstein at that point. At that point, he's he's Rudolph Valentino or yeah. Valentinovich. You know <laughs> what I mean? And that's how he sees himself because that's how he's being treated. That's what they're projecting onto him with that yeah. power. Yeah. All right. Well, what else? Let's talk. Let's not talk about leaving the country. Let's talk about leaving the earth because Mm -hmm. that might be in the works for Tom Cruise. He may be becoming the first civilian to do a spacewalk outside of the international space station. When he films his next action movie, the producers are working with NASA and Elon Musk SpaceX to blast the star into space, to shoot scenes for a movie, which will be a a Hollywood first and everything. First universal's backing this project, which reportedly carries a budget of 200 million. Uh, While it was already known the movie would shoot scenes on the International Space Station, the head of Universal Pictures said the plan is to also have crews up there performing a spacewalk. Yeah, I don't say this that often, but Katie Holmes should have bit her lip, gotten to Scientology and wrote it out. You know what I mean? (laughs) What's Katie Holmes up to? Uh, Dawson (laughs) Creek reunion. Living peacefully? Uh, Yeah. With her dignity? Yeah, I would have just embraced. Yeah. I would have found Scientology. And just sucked it up. What about Nicole Kidman? Yeah. Oh, she's she, all right. she had more upside. Oh, yeah, I she's see. She's with the Keith Urban. Urban, right? that's right. Yeah, that's right, that's right. she landed she, on her feet. She, she did all right. What's the talent? Yes, okay. <laughs> Katie well, Holmes, I would have pulled her aside and went, this guy's on the fucking road 10 months out of the year. You I know imagine. What I mean? So you just embrace Scientology, whatever the fuck he wants, he wants. You're living in 12,000 square feet. So you never have to see him. It's not like you're bunked up in the with Weinstein. Right. You know what I mean? You're there. You, know, you go to separate parts of the manor. Right. And then he goes to Prague and you get out the Cheetos and put on your sweatpants <laughs> and, you know, d- and then get into Santeria or whatever. Yeah. And then you just clean it up before he comes home. Once, twice a year, you'll have to re- uh, be on a red carpet. Yeah, suck it up. Yeah, you have a good point. Mm-hmm. Well, I think Plus, he's probably going to die 
jumping from one airplane to the right. next or going through a, a, a bullet train tunnel and right. getting clipped by the bridge. You know, this, at some point it's yeah. going to catch up to him. No, that's a really good point. I think you're going to be shocked by the um, the the uh, the premise of the movie that they're working on. They describe it as Cruz's character as a down on his luck guy who finds himself in the position of being the only person who could save the earth. Mm-mm. Okay. That, I don't know if it's anyone's shocked by the premise or if we. It's it's well traveled to some degree, but <laughs> it's he, cruisy. I, I, I'll see it. Everyone will see it. I I want to see a civilian walking in space in a in a movie. He's taking my Navigadin idea here, yeah, he's basically. Cl- very close. That's right. It's getting close. Yeah. What's Navigadin? Oh, oh boy. You got that's your you got next directing efforts. <laughs> hey, listen, <laughs> we can get this thing off the ground. It's Los Angeles, two thousand and thirty-five. All the cars are electric, but there's uh, one old timer named Robert Davi who <laughs> refuses. He likes his 71 Bronco. He's not getting his catalytic converter stolen. He can he can juice it up on any corner, blah, blah. It's got range, blah, blah, blah. And at some point when the Chinese satellite locks everyone in their car and takes over the navigation system and drives them all <laughs> into the Grand Canyon, he's the only one who can get up and save the world with that satellite because he's the only one driving around a 71 Bronco. Oh, interesting. Yeah. You interested? Well, I mean, that that's, was a, the, that was that's a fun premise. <laughs> it's all follow up from the deal Hunter a, Biden did with the Chinese. That's right. Yeah. Yes. We'll tie, well, follow the money. Two will collide. You know what? That, that's not far from the truth, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Only you'd have a lot more guys with their Cadillacs, especially if they're Italians. They love those old cars, you know? Yeah, you wouldn't be the only one. But what it is. How would Cuba work? Well, no, evil Governor Newsom has. Mm -hmm. Evil President Newsom. Evil President Newsom (laughs) has decided that all cars, you know, your cars will be confiscated, will be crushed, you know, but you've got yours stashed away. That's good. All right, one more. Can, oh, can I ask you, how did the yeah. debate go with Caruso and this? Because I, I I moved to Florida after 45 years. I mean, uh, oh, everything got solved. They talked about race for the entire debate, and then they agreed to go home. That, <laughs> okay. I, I, I didn't watch it. I just watched the part where they were obsessing over race. It was uh, brown on brown cl- crime, black on brown crime, uh, brown on black crime, and uh, lots of reporters from Telemundo asking them about race. No. So problem solved. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, there. If you have an iPhone 14, listen up before you hit uh, Disneyland or amusement parks around the country. The new crash detection feature on the phone is reportedly detecting roller coaster rides oh. as full-on car crashes. Nice. Oh. Okay, big deal. But according to reports, the device automatically calls 911. Oh, it calls your next of kin. That's right. The mm. Wall Street Journal reported that there have been at least six crash detection calls sent oh, out. The from- Horns are very from, jerky. Oh, lot. that would mess up your back Ugh. big time. From roller coasters at Kings Island themes par- theme park um, in Cincinnati, uh, Six Flags Great America outside Chicago. The iPhone 14, according to the Apple website, can detect a major car accident and will automatically call 911 in 20 seconds unless the alert is canceled by the phone's owner. So the fix, the bug fix they're they're calling for now is just if you have an iPhone 14. Put it on airplane mode before you get on the yeah, roller coaster. Yeah, because in your pocket, you can't feel Speaking it. Speaking right. of satellites, remember the, all those OnStar commercials? Uh, or like your car's flipped over and it's like, hold on, sir, where we'll send emergency vehicles? Yeah. Remember that was a whole that thing? Was big. That was the plot of horrible bosses. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. What Every was the whole... What? Is on, does on, that's a good... Don't ask. That's a good one for dead or alive companies. OnStar? On yeah. yeah. <laughs> we don't... I, we don't need OnStar anymore because why? The cell phones, I the think. The cell phones? The cell phones, I think, well, a lot of Christie's and my car both have the, you know, call whoever through our proprietary, you know, software. Right. So they kind of, kind of like what happened with Yeah, Tivo. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like mine, I, yeah. I have the super one. Yeah, DirecTV just undercut TiVo and, you know, use our software. All right. So we don't need all OnStar anymore. I guess not. But we're not looking it up. It was a novelty for a while. I always like the commercials that depicts any operator because they're always attractive women with Mm. appropriate haircuts Mm -hmm. being super kind. But whenever they deliver the actual calls, especially (laughs) the 911, there's always just some sassy black woman yelling at the person, you've been shot or not? (laughs) 
<laughs> I love the, the 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 actual Hollywood version of what super helpful. Very calm. When headsets Joseph look like sipping yeah. chamomile. Yeah, you'd probably go to some place, some call hub in India or something, and mm-hmm. they'd be like, I do not know what the look like is. And they'd be like, I'm upside down. I don't know where I am either. <laughs> you call back when you get the card right side up. <laughs> <laughs> you got to find us an OnStar commercial from the 2003, Four? Yeah. somewhere in there. Those were big in the early 2000s. Yeah. The call, the car's going to call on star it seemed like yeah. a gm cadillac american sure thing. and everyone that had one liked doing it if you were in the car with it for somebody that had it early oh, on yeah. they'd be doing everything on star make a reservation at ma maison please oh, at yeah. oh, two you o'clock. Could, oh you could oh if you got locked out of your car <laughs> they could, they, unlock, they, it they could unlock it for it see this is why we have to do navigating <laughs> because it, the satellite would unlock it Crazy, right? Robert's got to direct. Yeah, you got to direct. That's real. Yeah, you the have a treatment. Satellite will unlock your car. Really? You just heard it. Yeah, okay. I mean, wh- how else would they unlock your car? I didn't car, know that was a know? feature. Oh yeah, I think it was. Wow. Yeah, um, there was something that you could that they would do. Any OnStar commercial, I will, I will gladly take that. Now I'm around, huh? No, no, I'm just saying. I don't think you want any because. Uh, uh, spoiler alert! There's some from 2022. So. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, they still exist. Come on. They still exist. All right, good to know. What is anyone? Uh, I don't know where they run their spots. I couldn't tell you football. what car manufacturer that did it. Yeah, ours. Mine comes with Subaru Starlink, which I assume is on Star. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, uh, I see. I'm the right now because of my catalytic convert catalytic converter being stolen. I am the proud renter of a Chevy Malibu. <laughs> has the OnStar button. Oh, on. really? Oh. Yeah. Yes, they're not. They're not. They're not making a bunch of noise about it. No, yeah, quiet. any old OnStar commercial, I will, I'll be happy. Just to see the attractive uh, woman who's working the phone banks. <laughs> Josie Davis. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, they, they can't go blonde. I oh. don't think. Well, Back then, maybe be. they could. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. We'll what the hell were we talking about? Oh, Tom Cruise. Uh, going to outer space. And that and the iPhone 14. Thinking oh, that's right. Are you dying over Fresh. there? I just have a little cold. I'm sorry. All right. Well, let her blow it out. Chris will find an OnStar (laughs) commercial, and I'll give some... uh, Oh, let me do my last... Oh, it's outro, sir. I'm Gina Grad, and that's the news. Harvey, put your clothes back on. Gina, Gina! (laughs) That was the news. Was that me saying that? that? Indeed. Well, let me tell you about my friend Jordan Harbinger. All right. Any onstar before we leave, Harvey, put I'm your still, clothes I'm back on. I'm scrubbing through to make sure they're they're okay. <laughs> they're okay. Like that yeah. X-ray. Okay, here I'll, I'll, we'll play. We'll play. Yeah, what a fun feature in India. Yeah. There goes your point. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just I'm nostalgic for an OnStar commercial. <laughs> they were very helpful. <laughs> yeah. Never utilized. You could order pizza from an OnStar commercial. Really. I'll be home in 15 minutes. I want a was pepperoni Star- pizza with pineapple on it. Was I, thought it was like I thought it was just for emergencies. Oh, Saturn. Saturn. Oh, man. So there you go. Proprietary? Uh, is no, there one where been. the person crashed? That's yeah, the one. I, I, I knew one that operated. Yeah, and we, need, we need a dispatcher where they crashed. All right. I'll give you a second to look for that. I'll give uh, Robert a plug and uh, Josie Davis a plug, too. My son, Hunter, available for DVD. And streaming. Download it at mysonhunter.com. Shoot Robert Davi a uh, tweet at <coughs> Robert John Davi. Also, uh, Josie Davis. Well, Black Balsam will come out at some point. You can shoot her a tweet and Instagram at Josie Davis as well. Josie R. Davis. Oh, I'm sorry. That's what it says here. Oh, TikTok. I'm sorry. Did I fuck you up? No, I'll that's right. tech, I'll Oh, that was TikTok. TikTok. All right, well, TikTok and, at Josie. And R. my Davis. Instagram is at Robert Dobby. No John in the middle. Just oh. uh, Twitter has the John in the middle. Oh, okay. All right. Well, good. I'm glad you're here to straighten that out. On Star <laughs> commercial ready? Yeah, this one is, I think, from 2017, but it, it has the crash in the. the oh, OnStar really? They're still display. running them. So when the chick gets in the accident, they have the good looking guy sure. answer the phone. Kendall. And when the guy gets in the accident, we get the good looking chick Got doing it. it. All right. Uh, 
San Diego, mic drop, comedy, October 28th and 29th. Come on out and say hi. We'll do live pods there and stand up there as well. Vegas coming up, St. Louis, Tucson, Tempe. Just go to adamcrow.com for all the live shows. Until next time, Adam Crow for Robert Davi and Josie Davis and Gina Grad and Bald Brian. Say it. Mahalo.